And OK, that's the custom LGA 1700 bracket designed by Carter from Australia and 3D printed by Chocard, which I uh, recently showcased very briefly on my previous video. Now on this one, I will be doing the thermal comparisons uh, between this bracket and the stock clamping mechanism that's present on all of these LGA 1700 motherboards. But um, as I didn't really gain anything with the washer mod when I used my lapped 12900K, as I'm honestly sure that I really need to lap the water block as well to really gain like anything from lapping the CPU like properly. So uh, as I'm doing the initial tests with this brand new 12600K anyways, I thought about doing the thermal comparison with the same CPU as well, because all of these modern Intel CPU heat spreaders, they are a little bit concave out of the box. So I'm sure I can get a much better outcome and more reliable results if I use a stock uh, Intel heat spreader. So uh, that's what I wanted to say. So currently I have the 12600K already installed in the socket of the Z690 Dark Kimpin, and I will just mount the cooler now and I will just just get going. I recently installed a brand new operating system, so I will just do the uh, overall tests with this CPU. Let's hope it's good and then let's look at the graphs later once I've compared both uh, mounting or clamping mechanisms. So stay tuned. And here's the result with the uh, stock ILM that's provided with these uh, LG1700 motherboards. So, uh, 85, 82, 77, and E cores at 78. So uh, the result is pretty much the same as with uh, the custom LGA 1700 bracket. Okay, I tried to make the whole video shorter this time, so I just showed you like a screenshot and a short clip of the two different scenarios. So let's look at the graphs straight away. So here on this graph on the left, we have the average result in maximum core temperatures in Pro95. And on the right, we have the delta temperature results. So uh, the pink colored column is the result with the stock ILM and the blue colored column is the result with the custom LGA 1700 bracket. And if we look at the results, the difference was very small once again. Pretty much the same situation as with the uh, LGA 1700 washer mod. So uh, if we look at the average of the maximum core temperatures first, it was pretty much 79.5 for the stock ILM and 78.7 for the custom LGA 1700 bracket. And in the delta temperature results, the difference was only 0.8 degrees. So it does fit the margin of error pretty well once again. So 54.3 for the stock ILM and 53.5 for the custom LGA 1700 bracket. So very small differences and I'm pretty sure Based on all of these results with two different CPUs, I'm sure the uh, biggest limiting factor in my case is the cooler itself, so the base of the water block. I took a short clip after unmounting the water block with, two, with both of these uh, methods, so uh, after stock ILM and after the custom LGA 1700 bracket, and I will show those clips to you uh, right now. Okay, and that's the uh, thermal base spread after unmounting the uh, water block with the custom LGA 1700 bracket and as you can see the contact hasn't been very good. All of the mounting pressure has been uh, directly at the center and all, all the uh, corners and the edges have had very bad contact with the cooling solution. And that's the thermal paste spread with the uh, stock ILM. If you ask me the overall like uh, contact or the thermal paste spread was actually a little bit better this time around with the stock ILM compared to the uh, custom LGA 1700 bracket. So as you can see, the uh, thermal paste spread looked pretty much the same on both of those uh, runs. So all of the contact or the mounting pressure was directly at the center. That's obviously the point where you want the best possible contact, but as uh, the contact was so bad on the far edges of the IHS and on the corners that can definitely reduce the uh, possible cooling performance by quite a lot. So uh, it has to be on the water block. So the water block has to be very convex. So I need to get it lapped as soon as possible. And once I'll do it, I will show you like a brief test with that lapped 
uh, water block and with a lapped CPU, so with the 12900K, and we should see a very visible gain overall. Even with that, I think the, bi the biggest possible gain comes from uh, deleting the CPU. So if you really want to go for it, if you really want to get the most out of your new Old Lake CPU, you should consider deleting the CPU. So swapping the stock indium solder uh, with uh, liquid metal, so liquid metal between the die and the IHS, and you should gain 10 degrees or even above 10 degrees in temperatures. So uh, if you uh, really want to go for it, you should consider deleting and you could also consider uh, lapping your cooling solution. So like a water block in my case. Lapping your water block will not void any warranty. Usually uh, there are no issues at all with water blocks. Maybe some very rare cases might leak, but that's very rare. So usually it's very safe to lap a water block, you will not lose anything. But obviously, if you lap a CPU, you will most certainly void your warranty on the CPU. So just wanted to say that. But overall about this uh, bracket itself, I think it's very good. It's much better way of doing this compared to the uh, washer mod. The washer mod was quite dodgy. And if you use metal washers, it could cause some permanent damage on your motherboard. So uh, it's something I wouldn't like to do in the long term. Uh, I'm not sure if Kada will allow me to share the 3D model of this bracket. I'm very, uh, I really doubt it, so uh, don't expect too much. But I think, as there are many like DIY-oriented companies already on the market, like Rocket Cool, which makes like deleting kits for different CPU generations and so on, and custom heat spreaders and so on, I think they might have a bracket like this coming out of the market if. They don't have one already, so I'm not sure, as I haven't checked their website in a very long time. This is definitely the best way to do this, better than washer mod and better than running the CPU like naked, so uh, without any clamping mechanism at all. So, so just letting the CPU sit on top of the uh, socket pins, usually that way you don't have enough mounting pressure against the pins and the whole system and the CPU might not function properly. So with this uh, bracket, there's like a minor mounting pressure against the pins and the whole system functions completely fine. But yeah, so this was more or less like a demonstration video about uh, this kind of solution. So it's definitely a great idea, but in my case, I didn't really gain that much from it. So uh, I will get back to you after I have lapped the water block and I will then make like a final conclusion about uh, this whole uh, bracket thingy. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this video once again and stay tuned for my upcoming uh, content and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.